That's a good. That's a good way for some business, right there. And the carpet will already be in the house. They'll uh -huh. already have it halfway padded. Uh huh. You know. They'll have your tools there. <laughs> the your tools will be there already. Yeah. Uh, There'll like, be a little in the box of sticker, eh? In case of emergencies, <laughs> you can't pull this off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Free carpet stretcher. Yeah. See, he's, he's really cranking down on that. You listen, too, yeah, as you're cranking. Yeah. I'm just listening. Uh -huh. Some carpets, you've got to listen back there. Some you're listening where the seam is. And, you know? and, you're, and you're deciding how tight to go. Because mm -hmm. if you get too close to the wall, it might be too tight. And then you might have to start off again. And just that little hook thing is, is holding it. He still has his, his knee pads on, and everybody's got to use them. And I'm sure, I'm sure you, there's certain knee pads to use and certain knee pads not to use. But if you're just going to do this once or twice, you know, at least at least think about getting some knee pads for you. These are hard, so I can slide. Hard oh hard. yeah, hard plastic. Then you can just hard slide cap. along the carpet. Because he uses them all the time. And then I have soft ones if I'm on a wood floor or vinyl. Oh, there you, know. you go. The foam, like foam or, no, just soft. Uh, gel. Oh, the gel, gel ones. Yeah, I heard those are good too, huh? The guy said, yeah, just like needling on a titty. <laughs> <laughs> One of them old silicon titties. I said, yeah, needling on titties, that's always good. I always like a titty under my knee when I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> they must have silicone in them. Yeah. Yeah, the silicone knee pads. And I think uh, I think I heard somebody. Oh man, he's going over. He's going over this way too. I guess a little bit. I think you can get those gel ones um, at Lowe's. Somebody had yeah. told me on a, on on my YouTube comment area. Uh, on one. Hey Joe, look look at look at Lowe's. They have some gel knee pads that work really super good. Or you'll pay the next day. Yeah. You only get down on the floor like this once every in your life. Oh you suffer the next day. Yeah. Here I thought all he was going to have to do was just in front of the door and maybe just a little bit over there, but he's taking it just a, a little bit extra. And, oh, he's going to use his Bloody Mary right here. That's a nice technique, huh? Yeah, I like that. Protect the wall. Yeah, because I've seen some carpet guys, well, they when they're installing brand new carpet, they might they, they cut it because it's because it's kind of lapped up against the wall, and they know exactly where to cut that. But see, we we've, we've got this nice pre-finished baseboard here. The painters have just come a few days ago. They finished painting, so he's using his his backing on that paddle of his stair tool. Stair tool. See, he cut off a little bit, so you get you kind of get the hang. If you don't cut some off, it might if it bunches up there, just pull it, pull it back out. Now, if you were on an inside corner like that, and you had to pull the carpet up. How would you do it? With pliers. With pliers, you still use pliers to just grab the carpet and pull up. Yeah. Right there in the corner. I've done it before with the, uh, a with a scratch off. I've done it. Poke it in there and kind of jerk up on that. Probably the corner's the best place, but if you have an air register, like over there, well, it's too far. But if you get an air register near where you have to pull it up. Oh yeah, you could pull the register up and then just yep. kind of.
peel up around that if you're concerned. Because the last thing you want to do is pull up a carpet strand or something. But, you know, if you do, you have to be careful, trim it off. Okay. It looks like, I think he's done this let's, room. Yeah, let's go do the other room and we'll clean up after. Okay. Wow, nice. See how nice that looks? If you think you've got the energy and the effort to do that, could an average Joe do this? Well, you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to spend a little bit of time on it. And yes, well, I think you could. You'll just have to decide for yourself, though. Okay? See, he just uses pliers. Here's your... Here's your bonus material. If you were watching that, that video, I'm going to extend it just a few more minutes. Remember, we had this room puckered a little bit too, and the rest of the room looks, looks fine. Uh, here, yeah, the doors kind of are in his way a little bit, so you just have to kind of work around that. He's going to extend this just a little bit this way too, I think a little. He's just He's just grabbing with his pliers. Grabbing as much as I can get in there. Yeah. As much fabric. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Better pull six times at one time and rip it. Mm-hmm. Gotta be gentle. liking that tool right there. Hey, if somebody wanted to buy one of these tools, how much do you think it would cost? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred for this? And the, uh, the, and the poles. Good. Great. Well, can you buy a, a junior power stretcher like this, just alone, like this, with the hook at the end? Or do you have to buy it as a unit? Yeah, probably five hundred now for one box with just this wow. and a tail, but you don't have no poles. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen the tail. It's got all those hooks on it, kind of like a regular... Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't, does it? Wheel wheels on it. Oh, okay. But I'll, show, I, I'll show you a little later. I like, I like that hook. The hook. Grab the hook. Okay, so you, you know if you're watching the beginning of this video, you know exactly what he's gonna do now. How to fix this. He's gonna he's gonna cut this, he's gonna stretch it in. Just be careful with that bloody Mary, will you? Okay. Okay, well, while Dan's finishing that up, thank you again, Dan, for, for fixing that for me. You got it. I appreciate it. That one, when he gets done, is going to look just like this now. And when he gets done with that, what are we going to what are we going to show you next, Carp? When he gets done with that, he's got these stairs to do. That's when he's going to. You see where where the lines are? That's puckers on the stairs. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see him. See how it puckers up right there? Look at that. And and it seems it seems here's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Look at all those. It seems like they're everywhere. You see them all down there? Walk down these stairs here. Look at those bottom ones. I'm kind of curious how he's going to do that. I think he's going to He's gonna uh, pull it up the same way with his with his uh, pliers and stuff, and then I think he's gonna use he might use his knee kicker on these, or or he could probably he might even be able to use the same stretcher, 
I think he's going to get his knee pad. We'll see. You know, hey, then after that, he's got to do this room here. And that's when that mini power stretcher, I, I don't think that's going to work here because this room is so big. And the carpet is one piece and it goes beyond. So from this point, that way, he's got he's to loosen this carpet up and then he's got to stretch it that way. Man, that's going to take him a little bit of time, but I think he's going to use his power stretcher for that. We're going to have to figure out what to do with these little puckers right here. I think he's going to take some uh, carpet pad. We're going to pull this up. You'll see. Hey, just keep watching my videos. There's always something for you to learn.